Hello, so today I'm going to be showing um, how to set up a LAN uh, Minecraft server for Tungle. Alright, um, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to get the uh, LAN server from Minecraft's website. Minecraft.net. Oh, hold on. Minecraft.net. Over here off to the right side you will see already bought the game download here so click here and down here at the bottom multiplayer server now I recommend getting the Java one the one down here <coughs> because uh, you can add something to it to add more RAM to the server um, so download the server this jar file and save it anywhere I'm gonna put it on my desktop for now and take note of this line right here we will be using that in a, in, a, in a minute so let's make a folder for it just to keep things neat minecraft server so drag the jar file into there and this this will be your server first thing you do is just double click and run it it needs to be run at least once alright so it adds these files what you want to do here is go into the EULA text file and it's just agreeing to their terms of use you're going to change false to true and save save it now run it one more time and this time it should actually run the server just give it a minute just let it do its thing generating a world right now alright it's done type in stop down here in the console and press enter it'll uh... it'll stop the server now about that line i mentioned earlier this is to add more ram to the server and um... it is needed for a smoother gameplay so highlight this line right here make sure not to not to get the period at the end because these commands are very case sensitive so copy and go back to your folder you're gonna make a new text document we'll call this start server just to keep it simple so come in here and paste this line now right here you're gonna want to change it to the name of the jar file you just downloaded to make this even simpler, I'm going to call this server, server.jar. So in here, just do the same. server.jar. There we go. Over here, you can add how many megabytes of RAM you want for the server. Uh, right here is two gigs. It's one and one, and which is which is ideal for this. It'll it'll run fine with two gigabytes of RAM. So I'm just going to leave this as is and save. Now over here what you want to do, the text file we just created, right here, you're going to rename it and change it, its extension to BAT. It's going to be a batch file. So now you have start server dot batch right here. The server properties. Pay close attention here because we will be editing some of these lines. <coughs> for level name every time you create a new save you will change this level name in this case I'll just call it public I'll just call it public if uh, at a later time you want to change it and generate a new world and a whole new save all you have to do is come in here and change the level name to something else allow flight if you use flight mods you will want to set this to true otherwise the server will kick if you start to use flight so I always set that to true server IP. Now this is going to be the, the IP of your computer that the server is running off of. In this case I'm using Tungle. So what you want to do is at, at, it, it's uh, in the bottom left corner of Tungle you'll have a server IP when you join the Minecraft room. Basically just take that server IP and punch it in here. I'm going to put mine in here. 
and this is the IP the server will run on and the one you will share to have people join your server. On line mode, you want to set this to false. Otherwise, it'll check otherwise it'll check your game. And uh, if it's not a legitimate copy, it will not let you run this. PVP, that's up to you. I always set to false because I don't like PVP in my servers. <clears throat> Changing the difficulty to 2, which is medium, or you can go higher, lower, whatever. Max players to how many you want to join the server. I keep it at 10 just to keep the lag down. And the message on your Minecraft server. Just for, uh, for demonstration reasons, I'll leave it the way it is. And that's what you want to do. So you're going to save this. You can also look through any of these other settings if you want to change anything else, but those are the main ones. And we're going to close. So now you, you start Tungle, go into the Minecraft room, of course, and run startserver.bat. I'll show you what that looks like. It'll take a second. and it's now generating the world. Using the two gigabytes of RAM we allocated for the server, it will run smoother if you do this, but also do make sure you have at least two gigabytes of RAM to spare. This laptop I'm using has four gigabytes of RAM, so it's ideal for this. Okay, so the server is running. Now what you do is you start your Minecraft and you go to multiplayer and join the, and just join the server you type in your Tungle IP that you had previously put into the server properties and from there it should let you join as well as other other friends on Tungle of course and that's that also if you want admin privileges in your server say to change your game mode or to type in commands what you want to do is you want to type in the server here op op and then your name name here it, it will give you admin privileges to use commands in the server and from there you can do the same thing in game slash op and give other players admin privileges for a list of commands you can google minecraft server commands to see what else there is there's lots of commands for minecraft and that's pretty much that when you're done with the server you never want to exit out because it could it could corrupt a save so what you're going to do is you're going to type stop in the server and press enter. It stops the server correctly. As you can see, it created a, a folder here called public. That is the entire save right there. So that's your entire save. To create a brand new map, you go into server properties and change public to, I don't know, something else. Say public 2 and then save. That's all you have to do. You start the server again and it will generate. You'll see it pop up here. a new map, a completely new save. So it generates a brand new save just by changing the name. And the same thing, to stop the server just type in stop and press enter. It's also worth noting that in the server properties if you do use command blocks or know what they are that's also an option in here is enable command blocks I set this to true because I like to use them for teleporting and other things. That's completely up to you. So, let's save that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, like the video, subscribe if you want, and um, I'll talk to you guys another time. Have fun with your Minecraft.